What's up guys? Today we're going to be checking out a pair of headphones. These are the Focal Batis or Bathies. So shout out to the guys over at Value Electronics for sending these guys over for review. Thank you guys. If you guys want to pick up any of these headphones or anything that I'm mentioning in this video, visit valueelectronics.com. All right, so let's go ahead and get this thing unboxed. So inside the box, this comes with a nice little handy carrying case with the Focal logo embossed right in the top there. Zipping the case open, we can see that we are greeted with a form-fitting case which fits perfectly the Focal Batiste headphones. Inside, we do get a USB, USB-C cable. This is used for charging the headphones and also to hook this up to your mobile device if you want to use the DAC mode that's built into the headphones. And then lastly, we do get the 3.5 mil jack if you want to hardwire the headphones to your mobile device or your PC or whatever you have. I will say that one thing that's a little bit disappointing is that the quality of these cables are fairly cheap. You can get these at like Amazon for like a buck 99. I would think for the price of these premium headphones that they would have came with like maybe like a braided cable or something a little bit thicker. So I'm a little disappointed in the quality of these cables, not only in this 3.5 mil cable, but also with the very cheap feeling USB-C cable as well. Now, one thing that doesn't feel cheap are the headphones. So the outer cups here themselves, they're made out of magnesium aluminum. Also the yoke and the headband also made out of magnesium aluminum. So it's got the Focal branding, which do light up. If we take out the app, we can actually light this up. We can make it bright, dim, or we can turn them completely off. So that's pretty cool. That might seem a little bit gamerish, but with these headphones, I actually think it looks pretty elegant. It's got this cool little hole pattern that's on each cup, which you might think would make these open back headphones, but these are actually closed back headphones. Flipping this guy over, there are 40 millimeter magnesium drivers in each one of them. The drivers are manufactured in France from Focal, but the actual headphones themselves are put together in China. Another nice touch is that each ear cup is made out of actual real leather. They've got a very nice plush feel. They kind of feel like memory foam for your ears. So that's really nice and it gives you a nice secure fit right over your ears. Of course, depending on how big your ears are, it might be a little bit too small, but for my ears, these actually fit perfectly. And also on the top of the headband, we get real leather, which matches the ear cups as well. So that's pretty nice. And then on the underside of the band, we get this microfiber cloth finish on the underside. So the top is leather, underside is a cloth finish. Now, as far as comfort, you know, at least for my head, this has a very nice level of pressure. I think if you have a larger head, this could feel maybe a little bit tighter for you. My head is pretty small, like I'd take a size small in a hat, so this is like just the right amount. And like I said earlier, the ear cups fit perfectly around my ears, so I get a nice level of noise isolation just with the headphones on by themselves. So far, everything's been pretty premium feeling with the magnesium and aluminum. One thing that they did to maybe cut weight or cut costs is to make the actual housing, the cups themselves here, these are made out of plastic. So these are not made out of aluminum or metal or anything like that. These are actually plastic. But on the left side cup, there is one control here, which is the active noise canceling button. So if you press it once, that'll turn the active noise canceling on or off. You can choose between silent or if you press it again, you can choose between the soft mode. If you hold it down, then you can choose between the transparent mode. And that's, that's pretty much the only button that's on the left cup. Now you can do the exact same thing within the app. Just go underneath the noise cancellation settings. You can change this between the silent mode, soft, and then you've got transparent. Now keep in mind that if you do use this in transparent mode, there's always gonna be a very light hiss in the background. So yes, you can hear outside noises while you're listening to music, but just always keep in mind that there is a very low level of hiss and it's pretty noticeable. Now, since we are inside the app, if we back out, there's also an EQ setting within the app itself. So if you do wanna dial the sound to your liking, you've got 62, 250, 1K, 4K, and 16 kilohertz, which you can adjust within five dB increments up to six or you can go down negative as well so if you do make a change you can go down here click save preset give it a name and then go up top here and then you can see your list of presets that are already set for the headphones itself on the right side is where most of the action happens you can see that we have the volume up and down rocker and there's also a center button right in the middle of the volume rocker so if you're in a phone call you can press it once to hang up or answer a call 
If you're listening to music, you press it once to play pause, press it two times to skip a track, and then three times to go to the previous track. The next button, we have the off button. We have the DAC button. This does come with a built-in DAC, which supports up to 24-bit 192K. That's if you want to plug this straight into your PC or in your mobile device using the included USB-C cable. So that'll give you the cleanest sound possible. And then if you push it all the way over to the left, this puts it into Bluetooth mode. And next to the on off button, we get the voice control button, which is that guy right there. So if you want to use this with Alexa or Google Assistant or Siri, then you can just hold that down. That'll prompt the OK Google command. And then next to that, you get your USB-C input. And then next to that, you get your 3.5 mil jack. Now the headphones do have a total of eight microphones. So four mics in total, each one of these guys, which are used for not only noise canceling features, but also to use this for Bluetooth and phone calls. As far as noise canceling is concerned, I'm out here by the beautiful waterfront down here in Connecticut. Um, it's a pretty windy day out here, but with the noise canceling turned on, it actually blocks out a lot of this noise, a lot of that low end rumble. There's actually three different settings. There's a transparent setting that you can actually activate by actually pressing the single button on the left hand cup here, which turns on transparency mode so I can hear some of the outside noises. If I press it again, it turns on the active noise canceling. And there's two active noise canceling settings. They're soft and then they're silent. Silent obviously being the strongest level of noise cancellation. Now for me personally, I do prefer the soft setting as opposed to the silent setting. I think with the noise canceling turned up all the way, it does give it a more processed sound. So I do think that soft sounds more natural, at least to me. So the thing is with these active noise canceling headphones is that with the noise canceling activated, I always tend to find that these types of headphones tend to have a processed sound to them. And this still does sound processed unlike certain headphones, just like regular dumb headphones or passive headphones. But I will say in comparison to the Sony XM4 and the XM5, this definitely sounds more natural and less processed. It still has a little bit of processing to it, but it's not quite as, you know, digital sounding, I guess you can say. As far as sound quality itself, there's definitely a big hump kind of on the lower end. I'm gonna say about 40 to 50 Hertz on, on down. There's not a lot of sub bass to it. So everything I'm gonna say, 30, 20 Hertz on down, you're not really getting a lot of that low end vibration, but everything from like say 40 Hertz on up, maybe like 40 Hertz to about 80 Hertz, it's got a real hard punch to it. So it sounds really great with like pop music, rock music, and it's really tight and very taut sounding. Mid range is very prominent as well. So it really accentuates vocals, which makes sense because these are wireless headphones. So if you're using these for phone calls, it's really gonna push the uh, push your vocals out a little bit forward. It makes it a lot easier to hear. Now, since these are Focal headphones, you know, they're well known for their high end response, the treble response. You know, I have reviewed a few speakers from Focal, the Sopras and the Cantas, and those tend to have a, a kind of an airier high end sound to them. So the treble's really kind of sparkly on the top end. I would say that these headphones are a little less airy sounding. You still get a little bit of air, but it's not quite as crisp as like say their, their own home speakers are. Now, if you're comparing them to say like the Sony's, which are the XM4s and 5s, they definitely sound more, more audiophile-esque compared to those headphones. Those ones sound thin in comparison. They sound very highly processed, even though I do think the noise canceling is better on the Sony's, but these definitely sound more of a higher end quality sound with these guys. Now, one thing to mention, if you are using these headphones, you're always gonna have to keep it in one of the three presets. You're either gonna have to keep it on transparency, soft, or on silent. You can't turn off any of the processing within the headphones and use it as a passive headphone. So you're always gonna have one of these settings active at all times. The good thing is that you do get about 30 hours of battery life. Now, if you do run out of battery life, just give it a 15 minute charge and you should get an extra five hours out of it. 
At the time of this video, the Polkal Batis or Bathys are selling for $800. It's a lot of money considering that the Sony, Bose, and Apple AirPods are selling between $300 and $600. But just know that if you don't need all the gimmicks and features, that these are clearly head and shoulders above those other three brands, especially for sound quality. Maybe in the second version, I'd like to see slightly better build quality rather than having the plastic housing around the control panel. I'd also like to see some better quality cables included in the packaging because those plastic ones do not speak luxury, especially for this price point. But like I said earlier, I do find the noise canceling works perfectly fine. I do think the Sony edges it out by a little bit. You also don't get that weird head in your head pressure that you get with the Sony and with the Bose. So I mean, this strikes a really good balance between noise canceling and sound quality. So if you are looking for a noise canceling headphone that sounds better than all the rest that I've heard so far, and also provides top tier noise canceling, I would definitely give the Focal Bathys or Batis a worthy consideration. So what are your thoughts on the Focal wireless noise canceling headphones? Have you got a chance to try them out and how do you think they stand up to the competition? Leave your comments down below and let me know. Now, if you do want to pick up these headphones, visit valueelectronics.com. Give them a call or order them from the website. Just let them know that we sent you. As always, guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you again in the next video.